This is our series in Mexico. We put everything in storage, packed our bags, and bought a one-way ticket. Our plan is to explore and eat our way through this beautiful and diverse country. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when a new episode drops. Why can't we live as one? We are leaving today. It has been awesome. And this place is this is place is really nice. I don't think we even saw like a fraction of what's what's here. So, but we have um, a little shuttle back to Mexico City. So no bus this time. And uh, we are getting ready to head out to Puerto Escondido tomorrow. So that should be fun. So we're in Centro, where you're gonna go try to finally eat at Azul Historico. Maybe third time to charm. <laughs> I like our chances. Take them a lot. Let's go down that road right there. Set inside of a 17th century building that was once home to nobility, Azul Historico is known mostly for being a place to celebrate special occasions. The chef, Ricardo Munoz Zurita, is well loved in Mexico City for reviving traditional and forgotten recipes from Mexican cuisine. Was it the best meal we had in the city? No, but it was charming and the tortillas were well worth the wait. Good morning. Beach day. We're headed to Puerto Escondido today. It's gonna be on the beach. Should be nice. I'm looking forward to this place. I'm hoping this is awesome as it looks. We just got dropped off at the Mexico City Airport, and this place, this airport looks amazing. It is nothing like the one we came in on. We came into the same airport. This is just a different terminal, and it's like. It's so nice. Clean. Yeah. I don't know. Terminal Very 2. Clean. Terminal 2. If you can, if you, if you have a choice, <laughs> if you have a choice, Terminal 2. Yeah. This place is awesome. Okay, made it through security, but they didn't like, they didn't like at all. <laughs> they, no, we didn't take Tripod. it all, all apart. Tripod. They were like, going, yeah, you gotta check that. I was like, going, too late. I've already checked my bags. Okay, obviously, because we're in security. Yeah, they didn't like the. The carbon fiber tripod. Whew. Oh well, we're through. Now it is time for the lounge. Headed to the plane. <laughs> I think it's one of those we have to go outside and walk up the little, the little stairs. Puerto Escondido is on the coast of Oaxaca in southern Mexico. It seems to be just under the radar enough to feel like you're off the beaten path. Don't expect there to be big hotels or resorts. Most accommodations are hostels and teeny hotels. like it's the beach. It is humid. <laughs> the majority of people you see in this town are surfers and backpackers. Your best bet is to take a tiny plane from Mexico City, or for the more tolerant, you can ride the barf bus for about 10 hours. And despite there being no direct flights from North America, surfers come in swarms when the swells are good. Like there's a gravitational pull towards the Pacific waves. The pipeline, which is what this area is known for, is on Zicatella Beach. This is for experts only. They have surfing competitions and you get to watch some real talent and some big spells. The season was just getting started when we arrived and generally goes from about April until September. Although if you're not after the pipeline, I would go in the winter before the mosquitoes get too bad. More on that later. 
and there is one main drag that runs the length of Cicatella Beach and it's filled with restaurants and surf shops. Travel far away to ocean blue and skies of tangerine and I'm thinking about the roads I've known awaking empty dream and I know I'll most restaurants on the sand are in a prime location for the epic sunsets and watching the 10 plus foot swells crash on the beach. They have fresh fish brought in from local fishermen every day. In the morning, you can see the fishing boats around the bend from Zicatella. I think it's our favorite restaurant here. If you come. I do order the Guashiningo, which is a grilled red snapper, and it's actually made in a VW bus in the front yard. It's so delicious. Legend has it that pirates once kidnapped a young woman that eventually escaped. They then called her La Escondida, which means hidden one. After a long time and having never found her, the name stuck, and the port town became known as the Bay of the Hidden One. And lucky for those who visit, it's still somewhat hidden from the crowds. We are at the Mexico City Zocalo. Yeah. It's big cathedral. It's really cool. And then here's the big flag. What are you doing back there? 